Well, she is a San Antonio staple that we are proud to call a colleague and friend. Jessie DeGollado has served her community for decades through journalism. And now the Chavez Legacy and Educational Foundation is recognizing her for her years of hard work and dedication. Jessie is the recipient of the foundation's 2023 Aguila Lifetime Achievement Award. Her work in the field as a reporter has stood the test of time. Our Stephanie Serna looks back on Jessie's Hall of Fame career. Curiosity and my love for the written word combined to become my desire to be a reporter. Born and raised in Laredo, Jessie Degollado says being a reporter was a dream she had ever since she was a little girl. My mother, in fact, told me, Ay, mijita, you're going to starve. You're going to starve, my little girl. You're going to starve. Well, I told her, Mom, I don't think so, but you'll see. You'll see. Jessie is a pioneer when it comes to Latinas pursuing a career in journalism. Her journey began in 1977 in the Valley and eventually made her way to Quesa in 1984. And she's been here ever since, covering countless stories. In Piedras Negras, in Uvalde County, in Monterrey, from the Davis Mountains in far west Texas, at the presidential residence, Los Pinos in Mexico City, at the papal site near Denver. Jesse has been honored by the Cesar Chavez Legacy and Educational Foundation, Catholic Television of San Antonio, and the San Antonio Association of Hispanic Journalists. She has even been inducted into the San Antonio Women's Hall of Fame. I was just the girl from Laredo, Texas, that made it in the valley and was blessed to come to San Antonio, and I've been here as long as I have. And so for that, I am proud. Jesse says when she started out in the business, the landscape was much different. 20, 30 years ago when I started, it was a very much male-dominated world. She says a lot has changed, including the role of Latinas and women in general. Now we have women who are in charge, making decisions, and helping running the show. When it comes to young women wanting to pursue a career in journalism, Jesse has a few words of advice. First, ask yourself, why do I want to do this? How much do I want to do this? Is it something that I'm willing to commit to? She says those are the most important questions you need to ask yourself because this business can be very demanding. Also, sometimes relationships and families can suffer because they don't understand what we do. And sometimes it takes 24 hours a day and Jesse's journey isn't over yet. She'll continue telling the stories that matter to you most, impacting people right here in San Antonio and inspiring more young Latinas to follow in her footsteps. Just know that you really do have it in you. If you want it bad enough, you do have it in you and it will come out. Stephanie Serna. Case at 12 News.